What is up guys, our man Fimmel's back again with a whole new thing going on. Uh, it's kind of like a little drag thing that I've had for a while. I know I did introduce it a while back earlier in 2017, but the short film that I did of uh, what I use and all that stuff, that's another video. And I'm gonna, basically just gonna show you um, basically one of the equipment that I did use in like one video, cause I never got a chance to do it, but you know what? I thought of an idea, a topic, just to make sure I'm on top of this along with anything else, if any other projects I'm working on. So let's get to it. Okay, so the piece of equipment that I will be introducing to you today is my slider. It's somewhere. Okay, I got it. Alright. This is uh, the newer slider. It's right here. It comes with the balance beam. And uh, I forgot how long it is. I think it is a three footer. Yeah, I think so. I, I forgot how much this was. I think it was like 50, 60 bucks. Got it on Amazon. I'm not sure. I'll find the link. If and if I do, I'll put it in the link in the description below. Has the four little uh, attachments for the rails to be put on the floor. This is adjusted for its height and how low it wants to go to the floor and how high. This is the actual track that slides back and forth. It glides. It's always good to oil it up just like a smidge, you know, because sometimes it does get like caught. And then it's like I move it and it just stops like right there and it really bothers me. So, like I said, uh, there's not really not much to it. Uh, you can either just put it also on the tripod with the two holes coming back and forth. Or you can put it right on this end right here and on this end. So if you set up just doing it like this, you can land it up like this and that kind of hurt. Oh. Okay, anyways, so usually people put it on top of the actual track, but one thing I do recommend is really getting a ball head, a really nice sturdy one. If you can't afford a big one like a Manfrotto or like a ginormous thing going on, be simple. Uh, invest in time into yourself and then just invest into yourself in, in as well. So I'm going to show you the ball head that I used along with it. Here you go. This is the Young Tang, Young Tang ball head. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, this adjusts all the pan shots going along, so if I hold this, use the arm as well. And then if I tie in it, it won't go anywhere. It has the little um, lines to make sure, like, I guess, like a time. All right, so then here also as well is your tilt. So it does go pretty slow, which is something I like. It's not too loose, so I can, like, get that nice, smooth tilting shot as well. Then we're going to lock that up. Uh, the arm is completely detachable. Uh, it's just like two pieces, which is a one and two. It's a nice soft foam piece. And the quick release play is pretty simple. All you gotta do is just put this forward. And then after that, it comes right off. I like these quick release plates actually because it does come with this little knob right here, this little turning mechanism. So that way instead of turning with the coin, it has this little piece where you could just get a, a little grip on it and it will actually go through. And then after that, if you just got to transfer right back on, take it right back, put it right here, line it up, and there you go. That's okay, the now there's going to be a reason why I'm showing you my LED light, which is right here. My little $30 LED light, something like that, from Lime Studio, the one that came with a protective case. Uh, I used it in a little, sort of, I guess a montage video, I guess I would call it. It's not really a montage, more like just like a little demonstration of how the slider would work with the light on top of my camera itself, which is being used right now. I did do that in a separate take so I can show you guys right after, whenever I'm done talking or showing you how it works. And then after that, just enjoy it. And I know if you ever getting curious about getting a slider or anything, I totally recommend it. Could be good, it's just not that like portable to bring a lot places. That's why usually you get a glide cam. And, oh, actually, if you're curious, I use the orange filter because if I do put the white filter on it, it's not really much a diffuser. It's more like just a tiny bit, like 2%, I guess I would give. This is actually warms it up just a tiny bit and gives it a little more cinematic look. It's pretty simple, just slide it in, and then that's all. I'm just gonna cut right to it. Oh, before I actually forget, I'm gonna show you how it looks when the ball head itself is on top of the slider to this. They, yeah, basically, like I said, it's basically how it looks. You get what you paid for, of course. It's pretty simple. You see, now it's like you got a little more control, so that way instead of just having that boring, dull sliding back and forth, you could just unlock the pan, and as you're going through, you could just do like a follow shot with it, you know. Sorry, my hand's in the way. And just kind of work with it, you know, and just be a little more creative with it. And with the light on top, um, like I said, I'm just going to show you and cut right to the little footage I took of it. That's a little sample video I did it about a day ago or two, so let's just go right to it. Okay guys, 
so as you saw, I did the left to right up and down mess with the blur a little bit, just doing the tracking back and forth. But you know what? As long as you're creative and you know what you're doing and you're learning, that's what it matters over time. Like I took a year of learning myself and right now I'm in the full-time filmmaker program and this school is like amazing. Parker Welbeck, a shout out to you, man. You're really helping me out. Just know, like I said, I'm just having it like this for right now uh, so I can show you all three. Alright, so that is it for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little video, little segment. More videos will be coming. A film is slowly in the process. Script is done. It's coming very, very soon. Work is a drag. But you know what? Eventually, it will breeze by and I will make that film. I know you guys are waiting, so let's just get right to it. One more thing, actually, is I do have a Twitter. I don't know if you remember that I did mention it in the phone video with the, um, uh, with the detachable lens. Haha. <laughs> okay, and like I said, this is it. Go follow it, go check it out, link it in the description, all the info's there if you want to check it out, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, man. You guys already know, Armin Films, see you later.